Welcome to Mountain Biking for Beginners. In this video, we'll be discussing some bike geometry, or at least some of the basics that you should be aware of when buying your first bike. Since you're just starting off, going out and spending a decent amount of time and money on a properly fitted racing bike is not likely what you're looking to do. After all, a properly fitted bike must also take into account your own personal riding style, body type, and trail type. But you're just starting out, so how could you possibly know all that? Well, you can't until you get some experience. For a beginner, the first thing you need to do is ride the bike that you're interested in. Then you need to ride at least one other bike size to get a sense of the differences. This is usually accomplished at the bike store with a simple test ride. Knowing your height and weight, the bike technician can usually point you in the direction of a bike that's most likely to be your size. One thing to look closely at is to be sure that the bike doesn't feel too big. With a bike that's too big, there's very little that you can do to make it ride right. However, with a slightly smaller frame, you have the ability to shift your body weight to keep the bike balanced. Another thing to keep in mind is if you get a 26er, you'll have more room to make adjustments if the bike size isn't just right. If you buy a 29er, play closer attention to how large the bike feels and don't be afraid to get a slightly smaller frame if it gives you the sensation of being too big. Once you own your bike, there are certain do's and don'ts for adjusting the bike's geometry. For example, if you upgrade the front fork, you'll want to try your best to keep the angle close to 70 degrees. A longer suspension will decrease the angle and will cause your front end to grip less and your turning angle will be wider. A shorter front suspension will grip or bite more and you will not do well with rocks, branches, roots, or sand. So what are some simple adjustments that a beginner can do to improve their ride and improve the geometry and balance? Well, one of the things that are greatly different from one rider to another is their torso and arm length. For this reason, many manufacturers will default to longer stems. To counter this, you can make a slight adjustment to your saddle, but this could put you off balance. If you have too much weight in the rear, You'll find that downhill is easier, but climbs are harder to steer. However, more common are new riders having too much weight to the front of the bike, since it's easy for your body to recognize weight too far back. Some of the common complaints for people that have too much weight forward are overshooting bank turns and having to slow down just to make the turn, muscle soreness between your shoulder blades instead of in your forearms and your pecs, and frequent falling over the front of your bike when you hit a small obstacle. Fortunately, stems are relatively low cost and simple to replace. If you're having some of these problems, check out your stem length and angle and look for one that's relatively the same angle but a shorter or longer depending on your need. For me, I had too much weight in the front on my first bike. I was constantly having to slow down for bank curves and would frequently fall over the front of my bike with very small obstacles. My bike came with a 110 millimeter stem. I purchased an 80 millimeter stem on eBay for $25 and it turned out great. You can usually find stems on eBay between $10 and $20 with shipping including. I spent an extra $5 just to get a cool color. If your front wheel isn't gripping like you want, a longer stem could be a low cost temporary solution. Just keep in mind, this is your first bike, so it's a learning curve. The bike fit does not need to be perfect. If you stick to the sport, as you ride, certain things will start to bother you. Just look into them one at a time. As you fix or take steps to adjust one issue, you'll start to notice other things that you didn't know about. When you're ready to buy your second bike, if you spent enough time adjusting parts on your first bike, you'll know exactly what your riding style is and how to fit into a bike that fits you back. Please feel free to let us know in the comments section some of the things that you did to adjust how your first bike fit you. Thanks, and have fun out there.